All right, thanks for coming tonight. We're going to be talking about a number of Linux remote connection and networking type tasks. So I'm going to start by giving a brief overview just of some of the basics of networking in Linux. We're obviously not going to do a deep dive into it because it's not a networking course. Um, but I want to show you at least enough to diagnose some basic issues since everything else we're going to do is going to rely on the network tonight. Then we're going to take a look at using tools like SSH, which is the shell remote connection protocol in Linux, and then a bunch of tools that write on top of SSH that allow you to securely transfer files between hosts across the internet. Uh, things like rsync, things like SFTP, so on and so forth. I think we'll take a quick look at um, terminal multiplexers. So these are things like Screen and Tmux. They become really helpful when you're working over a network because they allow you to do things like suspend your work on a remote machine and come back to it later. And then we will probably look briefly at some of the more interesting things you can do with some of these tools. So before we get started, a lot of the stuff we're going to do tonight will be helpful if advertising. Um, it'll be helpful if you can actually, if you want to follow along, you're going to need a remote computer to connect to. This isn't stuff you can just do on your local computer. Assuming everyone here is enrolled in at least one CS class, if you haven't already, so uh, if you have access to the CSL, it's the computer lab on the other side of this building, if you can swipe into that, you should be good to go. If you haven't done that yet, you can go to this link here, so search CU CSL, go to activating your account, you basically click here, you put in your university information from the drop down, you pick CSL. And that will not only get you card access to that lab, it also gets you remote access to some of the machines we're going to be using tonight that you can then practice on during this lecture. So I'm going to be practicing on some servers. I you guys will be practicing on other servers, but pretty much everything we're going to do should work on all of those servers. Questions on any of this? Anyone not have not a C CS student can't register for this, anything like that? All right. So, with that set aside, 